So I need a setup. It's a black to move, so I can flip, but not now after I set up. Clear. Um. <clears throat> hey, hey, how about Nelson? How are you doing? <laughs> I don't have a tournament, but I took a shower a little before the stream. And I feel fresh now. Sometimes it's hard. I'm not sure if the others are doing that. Probably most of the people are streaming um, like Blitz Party and they're doing that together in the night. Like maybe Chess Bra are streaming in the night. I'm not sure about the time zone. They're from Canada, yeah? But for me, <laughs> I mean, it's all day doing something else and in the night when I have to stream. Also, I need a power, I need energy positivism so um that's why i'm drinking little coffee taking a shower then and i'm ready <laughs> with huge r i'm ready almost it's a black to move uh this is a very important stick bam 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 caso caso i think it's already done uh Vitolens Jurmala 1985. It's a black to move. Shabalo Vitolens. Just second to compare. Bam bam bam. Hmm. There we go. Okay, done. Let me see uh, this uh, static position of the king. Is the first chapter, by the way. This is the, the, the topic of the chapter. Static position of the king. Uh, that has, we can write down here. Shabalo. Shabalov. We're gonna write down here Vitolinsh. I'm not sure Vitolinsh. It's written on, on Russian. Um, result. I'm also not sure it's a black to move, but you never know how the game gonna finish. Finish, finish, finish. Well, the finish unclear. <laughs> so I'll li leave this without result. Okay. Save. Can I go to library next? Okay, okay, done. It's a black table, so let's flip and waiting for fresh ideas for the black pieces, guys. Hey, hey, Sledgehammer, how are you doing? Happy to see you. <laughs> oh, you beat Huffle Nelson? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, cold shower. I hate, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that it's a quite a fresh to make a, a freezing shower, but I'm not a fan of this. Uh, so <laughs> I wish uh, hot water. <laughs> I'm pretty fine. Okay, guys, if you're black here, how are you gonna continue? By the way, the white strat is simply bishop takes g6, h takes g6, queen takes g6, knight g7, followed by knight g5. They want to go here for dynamic attacking and limit the black uh, black position of uh, all, all his pieces and attacking him uh, through, through including the rook too. Here we go, or here we go. So, this is the general threat. Boom, bishop takes g6. How we can prevent that or what how we can take the initiative in in our hands not not let white to attack us first this is very very important moment you should attack first so we have static position of the king let's go come on amazon let's wake up we have seven E97, F7 is here, 97 is here. Yeah, but 97 is very safety. You should attack me first before this threat. So what's gonna be? Queen F6. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Queen F6. Okay. Boom! main. There we go. We have aggressive person in the chat. <laughs> I'm joking, but you sh yes, you should be more aggressive. I like knight f4 also, but 
It's a um, threat for a while. It's covering g6 plus attacking d3, but uh, still knight g5 could come to us and attack us on h7. That's why we should eliminate the knight. There we go. Knight, rook takes f3, g takes f3. Please, let's continue this entertaining. Oh, my god. Let's run away. Let's be here. Greece. I want to be in Greece. After Black Rose. <laughs> okay, Lucky Brother, you're a great joker. Everyone said that he's going to buy the book of uh, Ben Ben Fango, this video of one minute, and this is um, this is quite strange. If he write down a book, what is what's the Lego move or which turn it is? <laughs> Such a topic. All right, I should flip the book. <laughs> flip the book. Um, knight d4. Next, next step, next level of the game. So first, if this is uh, we can we can count it like a little bit more like positional sacrifice, guys, because um, there is no forcing checkmate, there is no forcing taking back the piece. Definitely, nothing is super forced next. So that's why we can count this like uh, next step of the game is uh, more dynamic, more dynamic. But this was a kind of positional sacrifice. Knight d4, boom, you're all right. Rook e3. There isn't queen e3. We can check out queen f6. f4, knight takes f4. Well, this line is pretty easy because you're gonna activate your queen and then yeah follow by bishop d7 rook of eight looks like easy attacking there is no coordination of white pieces in short so what about rook e3 is it gonna be the same after the next move we just go to the next exercise oh no 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 i'm wrong it's it's continuing continue here black one we have just t three diagrams in the game slow move <laughs> <laughs> hey hey captain logis how are you doing <laughs> He who is dead has arrived. <laughs> Superhumans. <laughs> queen of six, queen h4. Actually, in this case, you should realize that you should organize your pieces um, as fast as possible. And you should realize that you're still not finishing really the development. So move like bishop d7 could help bring the queen and the rook to the game. King catch one, such a mystic question mark. Um, so after king catch one, the young Latvian chess player uh, just feel the dynamic fighting. So, a uh, move like, for instance, 92, what was a uh, slightly better choice? We have this dynamic continuation, queen of 6 attacking these two pawns. Uh, rook e3, and um, just, just, we're still on the, f on, on fire. Uh, time to time we can compare the, the evaluation here on the top. Uh, there we go. Why don't we have viewers? There we go. These are our viewers. So, um, time to time we can compare with the engine if the book is all right. <laughs> so, um, we go back to the previous line. Why King H1 is so weak? 
What has to be? I think you you gave me this move a little before. It's uh, Queen H4 because F2 is already weak after King H1. And uh, I'm sh pretty sure everyone sees that threat after Knight uh, G3. This will be a discovered attack and winning the Queen. So that's why White is provoked to come back. So then King H1 will be not so clever. <laughs> If knight g3 is unstoppable and queen is kind of trapped. Rook of 8, knight e2. Um, it's, it's a similar way now. Knight takes f3, rook takes f3, rook takes f3. Knight g3. Boom, we have another diagram. Let's go. First develop pieces, then sacrifice. Today we learn for sacrifice a rook after develop your piece. <laughs> different authors, diff di different style, you know? We, we, no, nobody push us to follow only Mikhail Tao, to follow only Mikhail Budvinik, to follow only Dorfman. Um, you should be creative uh, behind, uh, behind your pieces. You, you just follow your pieces. Knight f5, never mind, drops queen, <laughs> you mean knight f4, yeah? Alright, the question is, um... <laughs> hey, let's track, how are you doing? The question is how this attacking could continue. Yeah, because I flipped the board, here is the black side, so take a look, please. I, I can flip, but we play for the black side, for the black power that's why uh, the board is like this I mean uh, strange coffee tonight mm -hmm. it's a black to move guys we have a new diagram and I think so this is the <laughs> final final element uh, <laughs> before black is winning it's a little 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 combination um well I, I, I gonna confirm that you should think in advance of course every single combination is combined with this um three four moves in advance I I can say that this is the maximum what you should count Fisher and Morphe. <laughs> Inge one just happened. Uh, actually, Knight G3 just happened. <laughs> if you mean uh, what was the last move of uh, White, it was a Knight G3. And we have a diagram where it's a black to move. Go, 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 go. Move your brains. Be creative, please. Go! Both went crazy. <laughs> but slow. But slow, guys. I just have a look F1. It's alright. In D4, Queen F4. <laughs> Both went crazy. Rook f6 defending. Hope so all of you are joking with me currently. Come on! Use your imagination. Make fireworks. Make boom. What I study you almost two years, guys. What I study you. Such aggressive style. You should attack. Boom! Rook takes f2. Of course. Of course. Rook. Alright. Sacrifice and then let's check out what's going on. Of course, this is not a great recommendation. <laughs> I never recommend this. But we can operate with you. Because it's super simple next move. Super forcing simple next move. That's why I don't really push you to find out the moves. So now uh, this one is losing the queen. 
This one gonna be the same response and this one gonna be the same response. I think everywhere else gonna be the same response. So king d3. Capture. King d2. Um hmm. Alright, maybe the next move is not so clear now. <laughs> maybe the next move. But probably black is having already a choice between. Oh, next move is genius. Because let's see how else you can block out this. What's gonna be the covering of this? How we can cover this threat? How we can prevent it? Not f4 is possible, but then you let him to go to h1, maybe. Oh no, he, he's not able to go to h1. d4 is nice, but it's not a checkmate, man, because I, I just covered this. No, 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 there is no mate. Rook f1 and... Where, where, where is the ma mate? Queen, <laughs> Queen e3 is not, a, is not a mate, if you meant this. Uh, knight f4 is uh, very close to the solution, so black here just push, you push the wrong pawn, push e5 with the same plan, rook f1, knight f4, cover this file, block out, totally, rook h1, checkmate on h7, another genius defense, because I repeat this hundred times that defending is more important than attacking. What's gonna be the defending here? What if two? It's a check, it's not made here. Check, check, check. Yeah, queen f2 is quite interesting, but if you don't really have a mate, if I go to the to the first rank, uh bishop d3 and take key. Oh bishop d3. Bishop is on d3, yes, but <laughs> what do you mean? Um knight h5. Bishop h3! Mr. Hammer is alright tonight. Um <laughs> He, he, it's not more important because when you when you're under attack first this doesn't matter that you're gonna lose the game you should spend time you should spend resources energy whatever you can see for defending a little bit later you can go further for attacking so when you're under attack it's very very important moment in the other case everyone gonna sacrifice a piece against you open up your king and hoping for a mate because you're gonna pay zero attention so i'm not agree with mr jingles <laughs> hey hey dirky how are you doing i need rematch <laughs> bishop h3 genius covering h7 block out this is also active defense why it's active because we improve the position of the bishop that's why never defense first no 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 oh here is the complex working it's active defense move it's active defense move what if bishop takes g6 we still have a knight here so just pawn takes just pawn takes it's gonna be all right turkey oh so, thanks Casey for subscribing won. Okay, thank you, thank you so much for the continuation. Yeah, <laughs> it's a new haircut. Probably I will remove it when I start the push tournament because I'm not sure I can play with this. But um, I erased PU2. Really? We don't have PU2. Uh oh. Really? Uh oh. Yeah, we don't really have it. Who delayed it? Oh my gosh. Before I don't have all these comments. Maybe you give me a great hint. So we have a troller in the chat. I think about one person, but maybe <laughs> should unload him. Uh, you have to check out the comments, yeah. 
I don't remember what was in BU2, to be fair. <laughs> uh, probably um, one BU is enough, yeah. According to Kasparov, if you do 10 attacking moves, your opponent will blunder. More important than defense. Depends of which level, Mr. Jingles. Also, I could say it depends of which level. So there we go. We go to King C1. Oh, actually, uh, maybe B2 was including also my coaching experience, probably. Oh, so definitely this is uh, this has to be this guy, but it's a very ugly of his side anyway. Okay, knight f4, rook h1, bishop h3. Maybe we should uh, eliminate the moderators. Uh, <laughs> most of the moderators, what we don't know. Um, don't know so well. King c1, e4, push! Attacking, of course. Now it's time for attacking, yes. Uh, so, move like bishop f1. There is um, a queen e1. Mm hmm. So bishop takes e4, d takes e4, we trap, totally trap the bishop. Yeah, bishop wasn't able to step anywhere. Um, so rook d1. Hey, hey, Hashchain, happy to see you. Knight e6, cover rook d8 check. You see, this is also defending. King b1. Um... Knight of eight. You see how important is the defending? Let's give let's giving you example, guys. So if you um if you're gonna give me a check from e3, for instance, I go to b1, and now you're not anymore able to cover d8 square because you're under pin. So if you're gonna give us such an um, intuition move check, attacking one, you're not anymore able to cover the mate, potential mate. So it's not every time uh, attacking Mr. Jingles. You see, if you're gonna give me check here, in both ways, I think you've got the chance to uh, become worse. Rook d8, queen e1 check. A2, bishop e6, another check. E3 push, queen f2, defending plus attacking. <laughs> Rook d2, queen f3, queen g5, queen c3, rook e2, um, okay. So, rook e2, bishop f5, in b1, push. Of course, we have about um, we have about three pass pawns on the on the inside part. So, seems like easy, easy to convert this advantage. H5, rook g2, queen f3. Rook g3, knight e6, counterattack, and boom, the game is over. Black won this game. Uh, we can make a result here 0 1, and done. We go to first critical position. Let's go to next. Next game is between Sakis Schutler. I am going to set up. his Schusler in Lugano 1988 yeah this is my year <laughs> 1988 mm, let's piece this around the board
<laughs> Too aesthetic. <laughs> Is an empty board. We have an interesting pawn structure here. It's a white white stern Sahis Schussler. Again, it's uh, about thematic position of the king. Um, static position of the king, not thematic. <laughs> static position of the king. It's close to thematic, but... Alright, it's a white to move. Looks like there is a current threat. So, what you gonna do? Probably you already have a feeling what to do. Sachis against Schussler. Something like that. We don't have Umlaut. 1 0 later. Right. Sacrifice, Sacrifice now, think later. <laughs> Sacrifice now, think later. There we go. Looks like this is the Dorfman strategy, but let me know. Let me know. Uh, maybe first exercise, we, we go move by move, but let's try second one to. to <laughs> Think with depth. <laughs> Please, let's go! To little depth. Little, little depth. Eat now, taste later. <laughs> Seems like funny. Yeah. No, BO2 is still here. But why it's not appearing though? B BO2 is still here. I I'm not sure why it's not appear though. Bio2 is still here, no one deleted. Ah, it is here! Is somebody give it back? Little before it, it doesn't work. Hmm. Yeah, now it's working. Internal natural talent and. <laughs> wrong it wasn't the sacrifice it was the move order afterwards okay okay share with me guys share with me rook takes f6 knight d6 knight e8 that's your plan all right let me see oh twain is having already the correct plan. What's gonna be the next balance? If you wanna go there and there, I'm not pretty sure what's uh, exactly gonna be your improvement. Do you really have time for all these maneuvers? So for instance, knight d6, maybe I'm able to play even queen b3. Okay, or even, even move like, I don't know, rook d7 or rook e7. Wait till 96, what's up if rook e7? You're getting messy? <laughs> no, play simple chess now, please. No, 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 no. Don't go for defending mood. I mean, uh, if your plan is here, for instance, this is a quite fresh plan, what I really appreciate, could work, but against weaker opponent. If you ever see queen c1, queen g5, probably you will never spend all your energy to transfer the queen to the king side, checkmate on g7. <laughs> queen c5. 
Play simple chess, come on guys! Play simple chess move! Was it the first name of Sakis Lep? Lep? Sakis? Something like that. Lep is our currency in, in my country. We call it Lep. Queen takes 66 by Captain Logis playing simple chess. Appreciate it! <laughs> if Black Don't go for a defensive move. Uh, Adriana Nikolova the Great 2022. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jingles, for your activity. Um, it's so simple and so strong move. This is the author what he said. Um, and the other, so so close to this move. Good is a queen e2. But they said queen c1, h4, and now boom. So, h4 totally prevent move like queen g5, alright, but you gave me time, guys. You gave me time to coordinate my pieces and boom, counter boom. This is a counter boom. And you don't really have time to come here and checkmate. Opponent will not waiting for you. He's playing against you. So take care, please. That's why queen takes c6. So simple and so strong move. What is the threat? Here we go. Again, you can get access to g7 but by more aggressively moves so now black doesn't really have plenty of time you know to uh move these two pieces to the back rank and try to mate he doesn't really have any single counter attack king g6 static maneuver of the king uh, but this uh, static maneuver is losing immediately um no rook b8 how, how rook b8 well actually wherever you go i i just take this followed by checkmate yeah there we go um queen b6 let's check out logis continuation what he said if queen b6 what was the logis continuation Queen b6, queen e8 looks fun. He said queen e8 looks fun. This was also my continuation. I don't know the game as you. Or maybe I have read this before 15 years or something like that. Uh, so if rook b6, queen c4. Alright, now queen c8, by the way. Maybe potential queen f5 too. Uh, potential queen f8, of course, with unstoppable checkmate. And right now, if rook b8... We're gonna go for a zigzag or what? Rook b7. Oh no, queen d2. Oh, oh, oh. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Such a zigzag we did. Did you find out the zigzag? Boom, 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 boom. Such a, such a flexible queen. No, no, no words. Hitting f6 is quicker. Yes, yes, Alconasen. Um, queen e8 is faster. The pencil, I'm not sure queen e8 uh, if it's faster. Alright, they, they used to play king g6, just cover f6. Now, how we should organize our pieces? Oh, by the way, every time when I go to e8, take care because e4 is currently hanging. So, what's gonna be the new plan of white? Let me see after which next two moves black is resigning. Wagner or Jersey, this is the same person. <laughs> You never see a move uh, in Blitz. We don't talk about Blitz. I, I believe this is a this is a classical chess, no? This is a classical uh, standard standard uh, standard position, guys. We 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 are not here only to improve our Blitz. We are here to improve our chess, I believe. H4, H5. But I, I'm agree that some of the moves, some of the maneuvers, also I will never find out. So yes, this is the goal. You have a several maneuvers, we already find out this, we already find out this. But also take a look of the other weakness. So any stepping on the D file could guarantee could guarantee Queen D2 and Queen H6. There we go. You have three three great threats, three great 
um, three great maneuvers by your queen. Now that four, nine, queen takes e4, queen takes. No, 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 no. I meant now it's a white to move. So what's gonna be the white's plan if you're not really able to touch your queen? Now that four, queen f6, baby. <laughs> All right, baby, but I go to g7, baby, and I'm gonna eat your 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 baby too. <laughs> so knight h4 is just a check, probably nothing super special. <clears throat> but what's gonna be the threat, the real threat? King h3, queen takes e4. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's happened with my towel? I should I should fix push. it somehow. Push. Which one push? This has to be double triple cake on me. And it's going down time to time. No, oh, now it's very <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> I think it's time to remove it. Uh what about rook b6? Hmm. Dog town? Daughter of old man, win it too. <laughs> oh. Knight d6, knight d6, of course, of course. Queen e8 is uh, kind of, uh, kind of losing. Uh, take care, yeah. I think with <laughs> you find the move. No, it's not H3. Don't li don't listen, Lucky Fritter. Come on, he's making jokes. Um, he he's totally making jokes. It's a knight d6. Finally, Master Master Hammer is giving a great suggestion. There we go. Knight d6. It's attacking the the rook. It's attacking the rook. So, what do we have in advance? Followed by rook b6. Just, it's not a queen d5. Not really sure why. Ah, maybe because of sacrifice. All right, and if we take back the rook, we're going to lose e4 and a4 in a forcing way. So, please take care of queen d5. What's gonna be the move, though? It's pretty slow, king h3. Come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do, you, do you have all of your temperature? What's going What's going on with you? D -d Don't you have a queen f1, for instance? Queen f1, I don't know, any zigzag, any a mating net, a threat, or... Hey, Wagner. Please, please take care. Please take care with this move. Woo -hoo -hoo, Mr. Genius. We need eight, yes. And white one. Um... We have the feeling that we should finish this because maybe not for everyone could be crystal clear what's up after rook takes d6. Let me know, Mr. Jingles, what's up after you lose the knight, man? Do you resign or do you want to checkmate me? Do you want to checkmate me? <laughs> do you want to checkmate me? It's four. Please follow the correct notation. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, d4 is not made. I move further to h4. Alright, I see that you see the move number one, but what about continuation? <laughs> h3 looks funny. Look, it's uh, tonight. Uh, Share with us that every time uh, some move looks funny. One. Okay, let's give you a hint. One, two, three, four. Four moves checkmate. I will not move the pieces. Four moves checkmate. All right, Wagner. I still go to. I still go to H five though. After your last move, 
pretty slow. Don't forget about Queen takes e4 check. Don't forget. Oh, you got a Polko? You or you have something in your eye, Mr. Jingles? You escape. It's not fair. All right, Ot Otmain is a real grandmaster, a real grandmaster. We've got the solution, guys. There we go. Push. Whatever you go, and boom. For checkmate in four moves. I'm proud of you guys. You've been very, very close. I think Wagner just misled to miscalculate, but probably he was the first one also who find out Queen takes f7. Little zigzag could help to you to, to force giving me check by pawn too. So pawn is kind of helping to the attacking. Boom. Yes. Critical position number two was this. Okay, we move further to the one more position at least. Millionaires. <laughs> it's a four swing, man. Nothing so serious. Nothing so complicated. Just check, 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 mate. That's it. That's it. Your second choice. <laughs> okay, we move further. There we go. I I I'm confused with these pages, by the way. I should color them. And I'm not sure where I am. Ah, uh, here is written a page. Oh, I find out the pages. Okay, cool. Page number 10. It's between Glack and Malishauskas. Malish <laughs> Malishauskas, Stalin. 1986. 1986. It's a white to move. Static advantage in uh, this uh, position. Mm -hmm. There we go. Clear the board. I think I'm, I'm ready to white to move. Uh, Tallinn 1980, Malishauskas, Gleck. Okay, Igor Gleck. Probably everyone is knowing him. Old Grandmaster. Very, very, very famous. You know already, you know already what we talk about. What we talk about, this static advantage. This open up the king classic way for sacrifice and then think. <laughs> Tonight. We talk about push sacrifice and then spend your time about attacking. I just compare. There we go. Done. Kasu, 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 kasu. Done, 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 done. Glick against. Uh -huh. Against. It's a very hard name. Mali Shauskas. Mali Shaus. Yes. The game finish, of course, for the white side. It's gonna be a 1 0. Done. Let's go. Hey, hey, Taburich, how are you doing? <clears throat> Waiting for suggestions. <laughs> Rook takes F6. Boom, of course. You don't see the follow-up, but today we study how to sacrifice by <laughs> intuition and then organize your pieces about attacking. It seems like we have a favorite second move of everyone in the chat by 95, but let me see. What is the current situation? By the way, the dynamic continuation here, first candidate has to be rook takes f6 and second one could be knight d5. We are going to short analyze what's going on after immediately 95 politics and maybe now black will find the time for retreat the bishop. Yeah, you're gonna take a look that you have a connected past pawn D, but also black will soon having this strong pawn chain 
and uh, he's going to also having a connected passport. So, indeed, to be more confident, they said, you have to decide right now, not tomorrow. You have to say yourself, nothing to lose. Come on, let's have a risk. We live one life. Opponent will spend the time for defending, and definitely we're gonna find out uh, initiative after this sacrifice. Okay, let me see if we have a second candidate. Second candidate, uh, not including 95. <laughs> Bishop H7. Hmm. Take, 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 take. Oh my gosh. You want to sacrifice all your pieces like 95. Take, take, take. And in advance here. It's going to be too much, maybe. It's going to be too much. Queen <laughs> 5, then Rook F3. Hey, he's so tired. How are you doing? So, we have a queen h5. Boom! We go for attacking, of course. And after several moves, the advantage is a crystal clear. We have a current position. And we have, for instance, this. This is a very, very strong by black. Followed by king h8, rook g8, rook g7, or rook g6 could be one of the best defense. So, if you're black, it's good to know the best defense. Poland didn't do that. He just played king g7. Totally, totally uh, blunder. Totally final mistake of him. The correct defense. We can take a look. King h8. For instance, knight d5. In the 8. Rook f1. Push. Capture here, capture here, f6. You can think about that this is unstoppable checkmate, but there is a e4. And this position, we can check out how it is. It's minus 7 for black. Sometimes happened to the best players. <laughs> you sacrifice, but there is nothing in the end. Monster Knight was killed. And then we don't really have something special. Here we go. Mm, white is having a different continuations. Yeah, instead of rook f1 here, we can check out what's going on after queen f6 first. Uh, h6, sorry. Rook g8, we capture here. Rook g7, only one move. Rook f1, followed by this way. But this way doesn't really work because bishop cover here. Queen t What? Ah, oh, queen d4. Rook f3, capture here. We have a different problem too. We're under back rank checkmated. h3, 21, h 2 21. And uh, black totally block out the attacking of white. Hey, Harry Balls. It's written. It's written on the topic. It's uh, Dorfman. It's Dorfman critical positions. Some boom by Dorfman. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's an orange one, but in in because it's a copy book, it's totally black and white in front of my eyes. <laughs> okay, rookie three. Yeah, rookie three half on us, but it's nothing special. I just move here, maybe. We uh, don't forget about it. It's gonna be a great counter attack against you. I'm not sure. Uh, let, let, let's go for the mystic of black. So not every time. What's mean that? Not every time opponent will, will find out the, the correct move. This is the correct move, of course. Bring the rook to the game as fast as possible. Plus defending our only one weakness, h7. Currently the most important one. Because this is a potential checkmate on h7. So king g7 for sure gonna be the wrong continuation. Rook f1. If one attacker is not enough, only by queen, you cannot really go so far away. So, of course, you bring the rook through this way. Plus, pressure on f6 is coming. Rook h8, queen h4, queen e7, boom, knight d5, 
They don't really have a choice between. By the way, quite interesting maneuver. Regrouping the pieces could be knight e2, knight g3 makes sense, and then knight to h5. And for sure, we're gonna we're gonna capture f6 because f6 is extremely weak. Extremely weak. Ed, rook ad8. Push protection. <laughs> e5 fixing bishop e4 just b6 we have many diagrams here it's nothing is still over um step by step they organize a crushing attack even on the queen side part let's see we don't have Oh no, this is going down. This is going down. I, I start feeling very, 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 very bad. So let's go out <laughs> with the towel. Uh, so we go to the queen side attacking. I need glasses. Okay. Now it's better. We go to the queen side attacking uh, because um, if we cannot really uh, improve enough uh, the position on the king side part, it's time to uh, deflect black pieces on the other side of the board. Um. So, push b4, such a strategy, guys. I'm not sure everyone gonna do this, even even me. <laughs> Capture, and what's the idea of b4? Did you find out the idea of b4? Are you currently find out the idea of b4 why we sacrifice this pawn? a5 Push b takes a5, yes? Cheers with my kombucha! My mushroom! <laughs> oh, you don't know this book? You don't know this book? I also don't know it <laughs> It's my wall, by the way, here. Here is my wall, you see? I, I made magic. <laughs> okay, um, it's just fun. <laughs> okay, so what's the plan? A5 and then C5 to D4? Antidors used on Amazon about what? About chess books? If it's about chess book, I, we all gotta be proud of you. <laughs> bishop c2, bishop a4, this way, okay. What about this? c5? c5, d4, mentioned by Mr. Wagoner. Actually, of course, c5 is crushing attack, guys. They didn't take in the game, they play rook d6. Hey, hey, we need. Yes, this is a chess book, not only solo chess, solo match. <laughs> so, we capture here. Rook takes b6, and what has to be the next continuation? So I'm ping you for a run. Ping ping! Let's go, Mr. Jingus! I think this plan is not really easy, but... Oh, there is a very, very, very interesting, it's called like a Twish and Took move, what you can use. Oh, 
Hawks. Who the hell is this word? Why? You mean cheating? Why? <laughs> Rook lift. There is a vision to move. That's me in between. In between sneaky move. C5. Hey, it's good. It's good, Lynx Archer. But it's too much, man, because we already sacrificed enough. We are already exchanged down. So let's go for our compensation already. Don't go for a sacrifice more and more. Rook A1. Hmm. No one is thinking about my my hint. I, I said Swish and Sook. That's me in between in between move. Queen G4, Queen C8 is an, kind of interesting. But uh, are you gonna play for a draw or what? Uh, are you gonna play for a draw? D6. D6. I'll be glad to to eat it. D6. It can be captured by bot pieces. Rook F3. Yeah, the plan is actually not so easy. <laughs> C5. Uh, comparing to the situation before Zlech, I'm able to take because the rook is covering F6. So C5 is not, not really working currently. So you should support C5. How? How to support C5? Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a mistake. How else to study? Oh no, this is fine. It's better to try instead of keeping sounds, I, I believe. So I am able to answer to everyone. It's not a problem for me. Slash directly Kun F2? Um, I mean, I already heard about 15 wrong moves or whatever wrong suggestions, so don't worry if your if you're guessing is wrong. The problem of Kun F2 is um, maybe coordinating both rooks, but this is one of the best move Kun F2. Neomatic. Oh, Thanks yeah. for subscribing. Hey, Neomatic! Huge thanks! Appreciate it! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Sushin took in between intermediate move. Six grandmaster moves. Okay, let's give you the move. I told you in between moves. So the old plan is attacking the rook and support pushing of c5. How this could happen? And the same way disconnect, disconnect these two rooks, guys. And this will be with the help of check first. Check. Very important check. They didn't explain this in the book, but I I was pushing you to find out this because in my eyes this makes sense too. Disconnect the rooks and then thread the rook through e3 followed by queen h6 check followed by c5 next crushing down. Rook one is... Uh, <laughs> Look has changed the approach. Every suggestion of him looks like funny in advance but look I can simply bring the rook probably back and I'm able to push next Ooh, we don't have knights here so sorry <laughs> rook b8 c5 push don't forget about the, the, this very important thing rooks are disconnected our pieces are working we go to the next level we go to the next step push as much as possible as powerful as possible we have c c5 we have a diagram it's a black to move so it's a very very uh sad situation currently because this is either e6 is totally unstoppable one like a little recommendation if you're wondering which pawn has to be pushed of course this has to be the opposite color of your bishop like I mean, you have to push on the dark square because you're hoping for control of the light squares. So you need more space for your light square bishop. Either f5, either d5. So of course you will not block out your, your bishop through, uh, through c6, yeah? You will not uh, block out your bishop through c6. You're gonna open up your bishop through 
D6. This is crystal clear, I believe, for everyone. So, um, D6, there we go. Where I am? Mm -hmm. 26, 23, push, push, rook B4. Doesn't really help. Everything is super forcing way. E4, counter attack. Capture the queen. Capture the queen. Push. Nothing to ask you here because it's a quite quite easy, but easy converting these pawns to the queen, upcoming queen on the board. Um, first thing I learned today, very useful. <laughs> what you learned today? <laughs> <laughs> push black pawn as we just learned <laughs> but it was an easy deal easy technique um, and I think so everyone is uh, knowing that how to use the power of the pawns and of course uh, open up the bishop it's a very very uh, nice deal that, that was the game hope so you enjoy with the power of your pawns with the power of sacrifice the, of course the, in this case the sacrifice if we go back here uh, to the first moment uh, we also analyzed the correct defense was a king h8 you can study now the correct defense for if you're a weak side and someone sacrifice against you please try to remember this approach king in the corner immediately when the queen is coming to you here with the threat and potential checkmates here we go please try to remember this approach of defending <laughs> this approach of defending is the best when g pawn is missing this is the best way because if you stay to g8 uh, definitely you can lose the game faster because you cannot really organize your pieces your king is totally naked there is nobody in front we don't really count this weak pawn structure and that's why it's very very hard uh, this defending this was the game number three in our lesson of critical critical positions of Dorfman. Last time we covered five games of Dorfman dynamic and static and last time we covered Capablanca three games. All these lessons you can enjoy watching them again, slow down <laughs> with 